do you easily um, experience satisfaction in terms of the work that you do or is that a difficult process in terms of you know having the mindset of always improving something always changing something like uh, how what's your state of mind when it comes to this oh man like as far as like capturing and then like editing every, that, that every, could... everything in terms of everything in terms of everything that you're working on oh, right oh, yeah. yeah man like i i love to 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 tweak variables and mm -hmm. the cool thing about you know music and this is there's an infinite amount of variables you know yeah. so like no no drummer plays the same no guitar is the same no i mean you could change the the mic pre or the compressor or the cable or the pedal like anything mm -hmm. that there's an infinite amount of possibilities and i think that mm -hmm. that makes it so you know just fun like it yeah. makes it super fun and uh, i have fun during the entire process i mean probably the toughest thing for me is tracking guitars because i'm a guitar player and mm -hmm. i'm very very strict when it comes to tuning timing uh intonation across the board there like it's it's probably the most tedious part of the process for me yeah um the most fun is probably going to be vocals just because of the the back and forth that you have to have with a vocalist and yeah. then the relationship you establish you know yeah. you always kind of come up with these cool inside jokes and just <laughs> hang and uh yeah, I mean, Logan, our singer, mm -hmm. he and I, uh, we knew each other, uh, you know, because he lives in, in Wilmington where I live. And we we had known each other through local bands for, for years, but we had never really gotten close. And mm -hmm. throughout this whole process of being in this band, I mean, we've really become very close friends. And I mean, it's it's once again about establishing those relationships. Mm -hmm. I got a little friend coming hey, to hang. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Up. Come on. Come on, Yay. I am also like a dog fan. Yeah, obviously. Oh, he's amazing. <laughs> yeah, she got uh, she's she's my oh, co-producer. She, okay. <laughs> yeah. You are nothing she, without uh, the studio dog. <laughs> yeah, I've had her since she was a, a puppy, and she's about to be ten. So, oh, uh, wow, bless her. She's got a lot of co-production credits under her belt. <laughs> That's amazing. Come on, come on, come say hi. Come on, say hi. Let's everybody. see. Yay! Hi there. Hey, just oh, wow. all right. Go couch. <laughs> she uh, that's her. That's her spot. Here it is. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah. Have you? Are you used to having a pet? Like uh... I've always had dogs. Um, my first dog, I had her for fourteen years, and oh, wow. uh, yeah. So, and like I said, Lee's coming up on ten. So yeah. it's. Uh, <laughs> I'm a dog life guy. <laughs> that's that's how it should be. That's amazing. A dog uh, don't show. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Um, in terms of music and in terms of you know your production activity, why um, that's a question that I always like to discuss with people such as you know yourself. Um, being just being like such a big part of what you do and such a big part of your daily routine in terms of you know working on on, on projects and on recording sessions and stuff like that are you still able to like just casually enjoy listening to music or do you have like these sort of professional moments where you just can't do it and you're just focusing on the little tiny details that you're usually working on well, I mean, I still love to listen to new music and I make it a habit, you know, now that everything is basically at your fingertips all the time, yeah. uh, I can listen to anything that I want to all the time. And so uh, I I have a guilty pleasure for like Finnish rock bands. Like I'm a yeah. huge, ba uh, huge fan of that band, him, his Infernal yeah. Majesty. Yeah. And I like this band called Erasmus and it's like all those guys, like I really dig that melancholy sound, like. And uh, you can definitely hear it in our stuff because it had a huge influence on me in like certain parts of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, I mean, I, I always kind of gravitate towards certain genres and certain tonalities, man, but I, I listen to everything and will listen to music outside of the studio. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. whenever I leave the studio and I'm going to go get food or, you know, go wherever, mm -hmm. I, uh, I always have, you know, playlists rocking in the car 24 seven. And because it is my life and it's like, it's not just, it's not just something that's passive. It's always, I'm always actively seeking and looking and, and searching for that feeling, like mm -hmm. something to make me feel something. So. I see. 
And do you have like these moments of oversaturation where you're just like, okay, you know, I'm working on music, I'm listening to music, I just need a break and I need to focus on something else? Or is it just like a recharging process for you constantly in terms of, you know, always being there? Yeah, sometimes I'll like do a podcast, you yeah. know, and, yeah. and just kind of shake it up because sometimes, yeah, you do have to kind of give your ears a break, especially if you've been working, you know, for six to eight hours, mm -hmm. you know, you're like, okay, I, I need to need to not hear, you know, music yeah. right now. Yeah. I, I get that. And, you know, I'll, I'll shift over to a podcast or sometimes I'll read. Uh, I do a lot of reading mm -hmm. uh, as well. And uh, I did play a lot of video games, but it's kind of gone to the wayside here lately just because of how busy I've been. But I love yeah. to play video like mega nerd over here okay okay so i really want to focus on that part in terms of of the you know the different activities that you mentioned in terms of podcasts and reading and games and so on but just to finish off on the music side yeah. uh, because this is something that i'm really curious to hear from you as well in terms of all the pretty things um, especially when it comes from, you know, from musicians such as yourself and the, and the other guys from the group with great experience. Like, um, what, what do you feel is, you know, um, different and, um, for you in terms of uh, being in all the pretty things and creating music over there in comparison with all of your previous experience in bands and creating music? What, uh, what makes it different for you? Like, what excites you in it in comparison with everything uh, that you've done before? That is a fantastic question. Thank and you. I have your answer. And it is this project is the first project where I have been absolutely fearless with oh. every decision that I've made. And if I that preconceived notion of being judged by other people or uh, just if you know, is this part a little too uh, progressive or is this part going to work or like it, it, we're just fearless. Like we are, we're, we are just throwing it all out there. Like if we want to put it out, if we want it to be in the song, we're going to do it. And mm -hmm. it's, it's done tastefully. It's not like we're just throwing random things yeah. and hope it sticks. Like it's very calculated and, and, you know, we've, we've really developed a system for it, but fearlessness is the, 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 the takeaway there that's that's what puts me like on fire for this project is because it's like i'm finally to the the level of where it feels like i'm making hard fast decisions that relate exactly to what i'm trying to deliver as a musician and a producer at the same time because melding those two mindsets for me sometimes has been difficult mm -hmm. You know, like I've got two sides of my brain fighting like this should work. This won't work. Yeah. Uh, but right now that's all gone and we're just going like we we know our direction. We have a concise vision and we're fearless about getting. It. Honestly, if this if this answer doesn't excite people and make them to listen to your music, I don't know what will. That's such an interesting response, you know. Um, yes right. absolutely such a making it for you so hang out yeah. with us yeah <laughs> definitely um th th that's great um would you say th does this mean that this is like the music that you're creating there is the best version of yourself would you say that in terms right of now, your yeah right now it is a very accurate representation and reflection of where i am in my personal life mm -hmm. and i could probably say the same for everyone else fantastic we yeah. are just we are we are just dialed in and we we all know exactly what we want to do and we all think that we're doing something that's a little bit kind of off skew and a little mm -hmm. bit it's different enough to to catch your ear and, and make you go hmm maybe these guys will make me feel something <laughs>